there's any Mackies that fell on the floor, it was alright. I don't make it sound like a bundle of metal falling on the floor, it's alright. But it go, let's go. So this is the same thing as before, where Marilyn's hiding there in his bedroom, he's like, don't worry, I'm very good at sneaking, what a selfless lord you are, given your role, how are you? He's like, oh, oh look what a magnificent selfless king you are, you're the best. And she says that uh, she'll give her all, uh, she'll give everything for him. As, uh, he expects everyone, but he would uh, be very sad if she did. Classic bullshit. Classic temp is the other top. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, and she says uh, that he would um, bend his knee to the same person who laid his country to waste. Uh, is an indication of how badly he wants to win the fight and actually do what's best for in Salam. I guess. You know, I mean, sure. And she's like wishy washy and the odd eyes. And then Gaia comes in. It's like King of Destruction, what are you it's like what the you're not allowed in here? No go. No go. It's like now now Marilyn, he is the king of Insalam, he can go wherever he pleases. He's like, that's right. I'm the boss. Let's go through Insalam. Time to fight. Yeah, yeah. So he orders Uther and Marilyn to the bridge, and then that's when she says that bowing the knee makes him truly a magnificent and selfless king. What a good boy! He'll give every, she'll give everything. What a good lady! Love that Marilyn. She's beautiful. All for Salam. And near the Neo planets, Louise is better, considering like everything's happened. So all the cellular damage uh, from the pseudo gen drivers been cured miraculously. And uh, it, what may never vanish is the memory of all the terrible things that she's done. But she's got the rest of the life, uh, life ahead of her, so then she can turn over a new leaf as Suzuku and Lucia done. And I mean, they done some real terrible shit. And they didn't. And well, I mean, couple of. Okay, so Suzuku had the excuse of mind control, but old Zero he had the excuse of he was the one doing the mind controlling. So it's fine. Don't worry about it. And. Um, Suzuku and um, the Lucia are a good example to the citizens of the world at large. You must set aside their differences in order to truly claim the victory that we have prepared for them. Um, she says that, yeah, they're like, they talk about how uh, Louisa bought the Caesar Redemption. And with her, even in her darkest moments, she never cast away the ring that Saji gave her, just like the anything. And Saji's been busy helping survey uh, Celestial Being, the earliest uh, ship, uh, but initial investigations are wrapping up. And the plan is to keep the ship on ice for now and undertake a more thorough investigation once the world is at peace. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I did it. Nice way, everybody. I'm gonna go back to Ashford, it'll be good. Um, yeah, Andre will be uh, guarding the ship until then, and Billy Caligari will head that up. And Saji will be part of the final mission to Mars. Uh, not to fight, but to help create the future, because he's a good boy. But all the same, Louise says that she's going to wait for Saji's return. Say that she'd love a chance uh, to chat with Setsuna as well. Go, sorry, I kept yelling the Gundam suck. I know you're sensitive about that. It's, oh, it just dries Uther up like a prune. No, it, like, it drains everything from him. All of his life force. He will give everything. It will give you infinite power, but it also takes everything from you because the activation condition is like completely selfless, unconditional love. So Marina's having a, a prayer of um, well, the thing to Setsuna, and uh, his generosity to his fellow man must have uh, caused him uh, a lot of pain. And why is it she can do so little for him when uh, they both seem to agree on the path for peace? Uh, 
And then the magic baby himself shows up and he says that he sensed her in the last battle and she said that she sensed him too. And uh, they sort of just stare at each other. Um, and uh, But the fact that they can understand each other a bit already, even just looking at each other, um, is a plus. And they may never see each other again, but Marina wishes him a safe journey and hopes that he too will find happiness one day. And it's like, yeah, Setsu and Marina are not really a romance, really. Like, she sort of just wilts a lot. But she's Relina, but done shitty. And he's the hero to her, Relina, but it's shitty. Ado and the Singers and Brera um, have been watching this from a distance, going, wow, you got some weird shit upcoming, huh? Brera's still convinced that Alto is not worthy of Ranker because he's Brera. There you go, he's not, not worthy of her. Um, uh, but. Uh, it says, what are you to rank her anyway? And he says, I'm just, just, I'm just a fan. Yeah, he says, I'm a, a fan of rankers, but like I said, he's an older brother. Um, and which uh, one uh, will Alto choose between the two singers? Well, not until he, no, none of them until he gets back from Mars. And uh, so I was like, what are you doing here? It's like, we were listening to see which one you picked, you shit. He's like, I was dragged along, Alto, sorry, I'm really sorry, I'm gambling, sorry. And then he wouldn't pick, and everyone's like, oh my god, dude, you gotta pick one. Jeez. Ugh. 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 No, they don't, like, Setsuna doesn't feel romance for anybody, so you wouldn't have sex with Marina and have a baby. So, here's Zero, and he's talking about that he's figured that Uther has submitted to Gaia's rule in a bid to secure his people's future. In a weird way to go about it, no mistake, but... Crow tells Marguerite um, that she shouldn't let it get to her, and Marguerite gives her um, I'm an Arcsaber until this is all over. A speech that she did on the other side, and... Um, talks about Zexus's place in history, uh, his lesson of footnote and all that jazz, and... We're gonna go beat up that man, the guy, and probably ask him as well. And everyone's ready and raring to go. So Crow's ready to go out there and get paid in full. Uh, not so much for the money, but for the clean break he'll uh, let him make with his uh, own uh, sordid past. And it doesn't hurt that, uh, you know, maybe he'll get over his fair women and pick one. Maybe one, maybe one of these ladies that is obviously into him. But everyone's gonna have to shut up and start fighting already. So let's go. King of Destruction, guy. Oh, he's spooky bits. The same shit as last time. Except Holland's probably gonna say something because he's here. He's probably just gonna say someone else's line. Yeah, there's five spheres in play. Uther's got a sphere. Askim's got two. And we got three of them. So we got three against five. That's Crow's debt. 145,000. No, 1.45 million. Don't worry, Crow, you got it, dude. But let's get out there and get to fighting. Just like, uh, let me, let me share. Is there Rose thinking to. Marg? Let's go beat up the Insulam man. And besides, like, I just want to play a song to him. I want to listen to a song. Go to, go to the great stage. Hell yeah. And Jeremy's like, alright, everybody, alright, let's just go beat him up already. Another. You know, Backpatting. Yeah, and this is okay. This is where they talk about the the love and thing, and Des Crow is like, "Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, like, what are you doing, buddy? You think I'm gonna face down? Yeah, I mean, beat the knights and knights and all that. Uh, he's got the sphere. It's gonna be rough, but let's give it a go. Let's get fighting." And Gaio really wants everybody to shut up and get going. He uh, tells Ambro like she uh, try she's um, they talk and he's like we're waiting for him. She tries to propose some tactics and he's like and he's like just shut it. You like you presume to lecture me on tactics and um, he tells her to go like go fuck herself. And then that's when it's done the reveal that she's never in session. She's got no idea what he's talking about. 
but she insists that she be allowed to lead the first wave and wears Exis down a little before Ruth swoops in all heroic like. And the youth is like, guy is like, uh huh, yep, sure, mm hmm, uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm, uh huh, mm hmm. Hi, Spam, how you doing? Hope you have a good lunch. And here's Ask Kim hanging out, and uh, he hopes that he thinks also will water bet. He's like, oh, best is like, break her leg out there, buddy. And then uh, he'd be, be watching from the stands. And uh, Uther promises all of his fallen comrades that he won't let their resolve be in vain. Yeah, and there he mentions everybody by name. Same as on, same as on the other room. In Salam's betrayal. There's the zone. Here's the. Wow, pop popular me. 